Friends are like accessories. Subtle side pieces that should never overpower you and always be complimentary. And if picked out right, the more shiny the accessory, the more it will magnify your allure. So when I heard it was Sai's first day at Central High, I knew I needed to captivate the new sensation that had everyone abuzz. Welcome to Narcissus Perspective. Before we begin, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. You always want to help someone first. That way, they're indebted to you. There's no better pull than someone who can't walk away because they feel like they owe you. So if it's size first day at Central High, a newcomer on my turf, you bet I'm pulling out all the stops and ensuring I'm the first to show them a helping hand. Sai quickly accepts my help and compliments and embarrasses themselves by letting their insecurities slip. I would never tell Sai this to their face, but never let your insecurities show. It only makes you an easier target. You have to make sure that your new friend isn't going to screw you over. To gauge their loyalty, a timely trial is essential, assessing their commitment for the long haul. This procedure, naturally following the assurance that they're your friend soulmate, entails strategically testing. For me, it entailed coaxing Sai to my Starbucks workplace, crafting an illusion of isolation while covertly showcasing my influence over the new arrival on the block. This orchestration allowed me to nonchalantly dismiss the visit, signaling that I'm too good to be bothered by the new kid everyone is talking about. But most importantly... <laughs> <laughs> the new kid is talking about me. Unquestionably, your friend's role is to stand in your shadow, creating a spotlight upon your brilliance. Without exception, they must refrain from raising doubts about your capabilities, challenging your authority, or casting a shadow on your reputation. That's precisely why Sai's audacity to question my proficiency in orchestrating the English presentation didn't sit well. Preparation? Superfluous. It's not the actions you take, but the actions that people think you take that matter. Accountability is worthless. Public opinion propels one forward on the path of success. Here's the thing. You must do whatever is necessary to maintain your status. And most friendships have an expiration date. Once your friend is no longer complimentary to you, it's time to move on. Friends are assets for elevating status, not cradles for complacency. The moment influence slips, so should they. Besides, an eager lineup of prospects is always ready, waiting to be seen with you. And there you have it, a glimpse into the mind of a narcissist. While dismissing these thoughts and behaviors as villainous may be tempting, they offer a window into the complexities of human behavior. Understanding the nuances of narcissism reminds us that beneath the veneer of confidence often lies traumatic childhoods, vulnerabilities, and insecurities that drive such actions. But just because you empathize with someone doesn't mean you give them a free pass to harm you or others. Narcissistic personality disorder is a real disorder that requires professional help for those who live with it and those who are impacted by their abusive behaviors. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to check out The Time I Found Out My Friend Was a Narcissist, Episode 1, if you missed the first part. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you again real soon. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.